This very popular and highly collectible toy train looks like he's puffing along when in fact he's stationary. Can you explain how this simple visual effect is done? First up, here is my finished Chuggington wooden intro video. Hi, I'm Thomas, a really useful engine. What's your name? I'm Brewster. I'm here to play with you. Well, okay. Does the Fat Controller know you're here? Oh, where are you going? Oh, okay. You're coming back. Oh, wait. We can connect. Help! Help! Come with me, Thomas. <laughs> Welcome to Chuggington, Thomas. I think it's time for a little makeover. I'll be right back. What's this makeover? I've just been given a Botox lift. This place sure looks creepy, and that's not the Fat Controller. I don't think I'm on soda anymore. Brewster better be careful. You never tamper with the classic design. Okay, Thomas. It's time. This won't hurt a bit. Just close your eyes and think to yourself what you've always wanted to be. <laughs> now let's turn the heat up, Thomas, and see what we can cook. This is how it works here. You'll be really surprised with the results. I'm so excited. This could be Chuggington's greatest moment. I don't believe my eyes. Thomas, welcome to the team. I'm Action Thomas, and I'm number one. Boy, it feels really weird not to have a boiler. You know, Brewster, you've made a big mistake. I never ever wanted to be a chugger. Now let me show you a little trick. I'm gonna unleash a special special on you. Thomas, p -p 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 power Oh no! It can't be. Okay, Brewster. Never mess with my mojo again. Now it's my turn to take you somewhere. No, Thomas. It was just a bit of fun. Take that, you big blue meanie. Let's hope you can keep your wheels to the rail and respect me for what I am. And that's simply a really useful engine. Because we'll be learning stuff along the way, I better put up this title and also this title to show you I have no commercial links to either company. A simple short story. The duration of my video is 2 minutes and 5 seconds. Was my story strong enough to win my own contest? The core message in my video is simple. I wanted to demonstrate that Chuggington Wooden can connect to the Thomas Wooden while respecting we are dealing with rival brands. This very simple story can be divided into three separate parts. The beginning we see Thomas meets Brewster and Brewster takes Thomas to Chuggington. The middle, Thomas assesses he's not in soda anymore and is pushed into a Chuggington shed and transformed into Action Thomas. And the end, Action Thomas rebels this change and sends Brewster to a smashing end. Thomas leaves Chuggington and he's heard repeating the line you hear at the beginning of the video. Hi, I'm Thomas, a really useful engine. And that's simply a really useful engine. Keeping it interesting. One thing I like to do is keep the dialogue to a minimum and keep the edits short. If there's a static scene, I use a variety of shots to cover this single scene. This way it keeps it visually interesting and keeps the viewer engaged with the story. I tend to always shoot far more than I actually need. For the short two minute story, I shot around 20 minutes of video. There were lots of little alternative scenes that were never seen in the final edit. Trains, trees and fog. This is a very stripped back video. Essentially there are only three elements. A wooden train set, plastic trees and fog. The only way you can see these is you need to use lights. The lighting is done with 50 watt down lights and some torches carefully placed around the set. LED torches can be quite brutal so I use little bits of tree to control the amount of light they cast on my set. I only added the fog as I knew it was great at lifting bare bone environments. The spooky fog gives the video a visual edge and ties in with the impossible dream these two rivals can play together. Nothing is locked down, I tend to work from only one side. I move stuff around so I can easily get the shots that I require. Even a fail can work. Sometimes a stuff up can be incorporated into a story. I was having trouble getting the dramatic Thomas pushback by Brewster shot. The trains kept derailing. In one of the takes, Thomas attempts to climb the Chuggington sign. And this was never part of the plan. 
but because it sort of looked cool, I used it in the final part of the story. I then shot a series of other views of this event. Mind you, Thomas is never in the correct position in the other views. Now the big lesson here is very simple, and it's always be prepared to be flexible in storytelling. I never get caught up in being too rigid with ideas. This crushing blow by the Chuckington Gateway makes for a dramatic end to this very short story, and is far better than my original idea, which was to have Thomas shove Brewster down a dead end siding to a dramatic crash. Well, this video has cracked the five minute mark, and I know for a fact that people struggle to watch anything longer than a few minutes on YouTube. I'm going to pull aside a very important talk about special effects smoke as another video. Now, I've spoken about smoke before, but I shoved it in the end of a Lego video, and it's a place where many of my subscribers fail to look. I want to bring the smoke talk to the start of the video and expand on what I've discussed before. I'm pretty sure I can teach you that really good smoke effects are actually very easy to achieve. If you've lasted this long in watching this video, I thank you for doing so. Goodbye.